Hello everyone, this is Baron. I hope you all are doing great as always. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to overclock your PS4 or PS5 controller on Windows 11 or Windows 10 with Secure Boot turned on. Now, when you try to overclock your controller with Secure Boot turned on your device, you might see error 577 or 193 when you try to overclock your controller. That is mainly because of the Secure Boot. So, you know, you, you would have Secure Boot on especially when you have windows 11 so to fix that error you don't have to disable secure boot as it like prevents you from playing games like valorant and many other games and programs to run uh correctly on your uh, pc uh so i've made a video before uh, explaining how to fix this but this video will be more detailed now uh the first step is to download the program or HID USBF. If you don't have it already, I'll leave a download link down uh, for it down in the description below. Um, you just click on download file here, and then that will click on the file. Drag the driver folder to any uh, where you want. Um, of course, you'd need a an archiver utility like WinRAR or something to just unpack the folder, the driver folder. And then to uh, you'd have to uh, check for the secure boot status. So to check whether it's on or not, you just have to type system information. And then as you can see here, secure boot state says it's on. So the second step you want to do when you see that your secure boot is on is to open Windows Security. You can open it uh, from the system tray here by clicking on it or from the search bar by typing Windows Security. Then go to sorry go to device security and then core isolation details make sure that memory integrity is turned off now it's if it says it's on then you just have to click on it and switch it to off and then it'll ask you uh, to restart your pc then you'll have to restart it and after that i want you to open the search uh, bar again and type uh, widget 3 editor and then I want you to go to, uh, wait, sorry, to this location. So, uh, you can either, uh, copy the, uh, path that I'm going to leave you, uh, in the description below, which is this one, or you can just, you know, follow to which locations I'll go to. Um, so it's like H key local machine, then system, then current control set. Uh, where is that? uh-huh and then control then ci and policy now in this location specifically you'll just need to right click on policy and then click on new then d word 32-bit value now you'd name that file upgraded system first letter and uppercase in both words upgraded system like that and then click in or hit enter then after you've done this you'll need to restart your pc and then try to redo the overclock if this one didn't work for you then you can simply delete it and create a different file click on new then d word 32 bit value and name it wsql sorry whql settings like this And then open it and in the value data put one and then press ok and then restart your pc that's only if the upgraded system method didn't work for you so we'll go with the upgraded system and we'll restart our pc real quick now after we've restarted our pc You'll just go to the driver folder and then open setup.exe. You might get this message, just hit run anyway, and then click yes. And then from the drop down menu on the top left corner, click on it, click on mice, and then choose all. And then um, you'll find your controller with the P, uh, pin travel. Or, or PLN uh, Turval 6 so here's my controller it says wireless controller so uh, that's my PS5 controller what you want to do is to click on install service 
and then filter on device and then from the default you can select um, 2000 well I prefer it on 2000 because well if you open DS4 and have it on 2000 you'll notice that on PS5 controller it says 0 ms on PS4 controller it's the least that you can get is like 0 0.4 it's close to 0 ms like no difference whatsoever setting it on 4000 or 8000 you know wouldn't do you much but you can set it as 8000 if you want to so I put it at 2000 and then I re the controller just like uh, unplug the USB connector and then plug it plug it back again into your controller just like that as you can see it changed the number from 6 to 3 now you might say oh why it's not 1 because this is the third option 2000 is this is the third option if you chose like for instance 4000 and then we plug the controller again it'll be 2 as you can see here it says 2 so it doesn't necessarily have to be at 1 so for, for it to work you know it's just like it it, it, it defines that like the uh, option that you chose the first one or the second one third one etc so put it at 2000 like that and it's green it says yes it's done you can close it you can delete the folder if you want to anything you want so you can run these four windows see the latency you can just open it and uh, as you can see here it's connected click on edit then controller readings and as you can see an in input delay it says 0 ms so before you do it you can before you do the overclock you can check the uh, input delay and you'll notice that it's like 4 ms to 5 ms but after we've done the overclock now it's 0 ms for the ps5 controller and for the ps4 controller or the ps4 scuff version it'll be limited to 0 0.4 which is absolutely the same as 0 ms no difference whatsoever so that was it for today's video guys and i hope i have helped you in any way if you have any questions you can leave me a comment down in the comment section below or you can join my discord server i'm more active there and i'll be able to help you faster than with comments with youtube comments i mean and yeah um thank you all for coming for coming out and uh supporting me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it really means a lot to me thank you so much Bye bye